What is going on guys, I'm your host Francis Bell, welcome back to Movie Stalkers, and of course, as I promised you guys for Sunday, we're going to do a spoilers review for Split. Now, if you have not seen Split, obviously this is a spoilers review, so do not watch this video. Go check out my non-spoilers review, and make sure that you don't get spoiled because there's a lot of things that you can get spoiled from this movie, and I highly recommend that you do not check out any reviews of this movie or anything like that. Just make sure, when you go watch Split, make sure that you are not spoiled about anything about the movie so that you can have the best movie experience possible. But, with that out of the way, let's talk spoilers for Split. So I'm about to spoil the biggest thing about Split. Again, if you have not seen the movie, I recommend you, you right now to leave this video. Because I'm about to drop some a huge spoiler. And that is, of course, the ending to Split. And... Again, if you've not watched the movie, leave right now. I'm going to give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Here is basically the ending for Split. It, it apparently confirms that Split is a part of Unbreakable. R say what? Yeah. Um, in 2000, M. Night Shyamalan made a film called Unbreakable. It starred Bruce Willis and Samuel Jackson. And you're probably wondering, how does it connect to Unbreakable? Well, Bruce Willis himself makes a cameo appearance at the very, very end of the film. And he mentions Mr. Glass, who was, of course, played by Samuel Jackson. So, Split is apparently part of Unbreakable. So, does this confirm that, uh, two things. One, does this confirm that M. Night Shyamalan is going to have, like, his own series, his own, like, universe? And also, does this confirm that M. Night Shyamalan's next film is Unbreakable 2? Now, I'm here to, I'm here to, conf to say that I think that it, his next film is definitely going to be Unbreakable 2. Because what else can he do afterwards, especially after Split? It would make total sense if he was doing Unbreakable 2. Now, if he does something completely different, I understand why. Because he probably wants to leave, you know, this miniseries as it is. Or maybe he wants to continue it, because M. Night Shyamalan has been saying recently that he wants to continue the story of Unbreakable. So, the probability of Unbreakable 2 happening now is high. So, if you are hoping for an Unbreakable 2, we're definitely going to get it now because of Split. So, that's the huge spoiler. That is the huge, biggest spoiler that you can say about Split, is that it is an Unbreakable spin-off movie. The other thing that you can spoil about this movie is, is that it's not much of a thriller or a horror as it is a super villain origin story. Because Unbreakable is a superhero movie. Some people don't know that. It's actually a superhero movie. And with Split, it's more or less of a super villain origin story. Because if you guys don't know, the character Kevin, played by James McAvoy, was actually going to was going to appear in the first Unbreakable. But M. Night Shyamalan couldn't figure out a way to put this character into Unbreakable, so instead of just throwing away the character, they gave him his own film. And I think that that was a very, very bold thing to do. Because this concept for, for Kevin, the way he has so many personalities, totally works as its own film. And it's definitely a great use of the character. It gives you know, free reign for a thriller slash horror. And... Looks like Kevin got his own film, and that's pretty awesome. And I gotta say, this is probably, you know, I have not seen a lot of M. Night Shyamalan films, but I gotta say Split is probably my favorite from him, because it's a really good um, telling of character, it makes you think, and I love the theme, and I like that it's, there's a lot of humor in this movie. But for instance, the the uh, the personality named Hedwig, Hedwig um, the, the kid personality. That is where a lot of the humor comes from because a lot of people are saying that this movie's funny. If you're wondering where the humor is, it's with the kid personality. That's where most of this humor comes from because, you know, it's a kid. And he met, it, also you have to understand that this is, a, this is a character that has autism. So when this kid character comes along, it's, you know, he's trying to be, you know, mysterious, but also he throws in weird things like saying, like, he likes hot dogs, or he's wearing red socks, and instead of, you know, just being quiet, it just, it just sounds funny in and of itself, and therefore you just laugh. My whole theater was laughing when we were hearing things from Hedwig, so 
definitely my favorite character. My, like if you're asking me which which my favorite personalities were, it was definitely Hedwig. I definitely enjoyed his per that personality a lot. And James McAvoy, like you know, just himself was great. I really enjoyed his performance. Some people are saying online that maybe this film might win an Oscar. I honestly don't believe this split's really going to win anything at next year's Oscars. Definitely not this year. But I don't know about the next year. Maybe, who knows, depending on how this year goes. But Split was overall really, really good. It was a really good film. And it definitely hints at an Unbreakable 2. That is the huge thing. This definitely hints at an Unbreakable 2. I would not be surprised if we do here later on this year that M. Night Shyamalan is doing Unbreakable 2. And I also would not be surprised if James McAvoy does appear in Unbreakable 2, maybe as the main villain, because now they set him up. So, yeah, very, very interesting. Now, the last thing that I want to say about Split, in terms of a spoiler, is the thing that happens right before we get that twist at the end. And that is, of course, the Beast character. Now, the whole time in Split, they were talking about a Beast type of character, the 24th personality, if you if they call it. And halfway through the film, they were basically stating that it's probably fake, it's probably fantasy, it's probably just a, a fearful imagination thing that the other personalities are using. However, since this is a superhero movie and it deals a lot with superpowers, or, nat or you know, um, powers beyond our imagination, the beast is actually real. Now, the beast doesn't really look like a beast. If you were... Thinking, what, asking yourself, what does the Beast look like? Well, it's pretty much James McAvoy on steroids. That's how I like to look, think about it. Um, it's just a pumped out version and a little bit taller version of James McAvoy. And even though, here, hear me out, even though that it doesn't look like a Beast, it's still, very, it's still to me, very scary. Like, when I was seeing it, I was a little bit scared. So, um, he's like climbing on walls. He doesn't even talk, it's just grunting noises, and I just I just like the beast, like the beast, it's just like very, very menacing. So, and the thing is that the beast is like a monstrous character, and the thing that happens is that the beast will only kill people that are not pure, and he, ki he killed off the other, two the other two girl characters besides the main girl character, and then the doctor as well was also killed off, but... The reason why he, uh, the Beast didn't kill off the main girl character is because her heart is pure. And because of that, he ran off. And now Hedwig, the girl personality, and um, Dennis now have control over Kevin's body. And now they just ran off. So I don't know if that means we're going to get Split 2 or Unbreakable 2. But you guys let me know. Do you guys think that M. Night Shyamalan's next film should be Split 2? Or Unbreakable 2. I'm betting money it will definitely be Unbreakable 2. Split 2 will just be too soon. I want to see Unbreakable 2 and then Split 2. So that's pretty much it for this video. You guys let me know your thoughts on Split if you guys watched it. What were some of your favorite moments from Split? And tell me more how you felt about that ending because it's pretty awesome. And if you guys are wondering, has my score changed for the movie? No. I'm still maintaining an 8.5 out of 10. And 85%, I think that is a proper score for the film. I was thinking a 9 out of 10, but I'm going to go for an 8.5 out of 10. And 85%, it's a pretty good film. It's really, really good. The only thing I did not like about the film is the first act of this movie. I think the first act was just a little too slow. But once you get to the second and third act, it speeds up. And it definitely has you hooked for the entire rest of the film. But you guys, let me, let me know your thoughts on Split, let me know your favorite moments, that ending, and predictions for what M. Night Shyamalan's next film could possibly be. And that's it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and getting you updated in the world of movies. And that's it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, as we end these videos, bow out, see you next time, peace.